Right then guys, so for this procedure, we're gonna be using some 600 wet and dry, a 500 soft pad, a good old fashioned Dura block, because it's slightly bendy, you get those bendy shapes in, and one of our own bulletproof blocks. Now, I was hoping to get these out to you guys very soon, but um, one of the machines I was using to make them out of gave me a rather nasty electric shock, so I kind of stopped. <laughs> um, we're gonna get that sorted out, and hopefully we can get these polished up. Um, made and polished and out to you guys as soon as possible because I think the wet flatten blocks at least I have uh, got the design down pretty damn good. They're nice, they're, they're really nice, easy to work with. Good for flat panels. So yeah those are the those are basically all the things and maybe a bit of red scotch just to um, finish off awkward bits. So yeah let's get at it. I hope you can see all the scratches left by the 320. Now, you don't need to use guide coat because this is a black primer. You can see the scratches very clearly. And as you block them down, even when it's wet, you can still see the scratches. The deeper ones are even more pronounced than the shallow ones. Let's start by wiping it down with a bit of microfiber, wet, just make sure it's free of contaminants, lumpy, nasty, grindy stuff, no big chunks of dirt on there, give it a good old clean down. Right, like, like I said, you can still see all the nasty scratches. So, I think for the top of the wing, I'm going to be using the Dura block because it's quite curved. And for the front section, again, using the Dura block, and then maybe from the center of the wheel arch back, I'll break into the um, uh, bulletproof block because it's quite flat from there back. So, you want to make sure your 600 is nice and wet. And basically, wrap it around like so. Hold it nice and flat on the panel. And again, forwards and backwards in a slight diagonal. And if I wipe that off, you can see already that the deeper scratches are starting to clear. So you know at that point, this bit is done. It doesn't take much doing to get rid of them. Make sure your block's nice and lubricated. Voila! Fairly straightforward. So I'm going to get from, well I'll get the front half of the wing done. Well, I'll leave the wheel arch separate to show you how I like to do that. And uh, I'll catch you as soon as I'm at this next stage.
for the wheel arch area, we're going to be doing it by hand, with no block, with no scary right, um, with this 500 pack. But remember, we've done all the blocking. We've done it with 320, well, sorry, let's go back. We've done it with 180, 240, and 320. These wheel arches are stunningly flat. So the last little bit, just by hand, it'll soften out a load of the edges. Because you don't want things too sharp, it won't look right. Lovely. Right, and you can see now, um, the wheel arch I have sanded. It's nice and smooth and black without any of these greyer cut lines in it. Because this area has got a harsher grey, a harsher bit of shit that I'm talking. Um, anyway, you can see here where this is 500. This is the 500 area where I've just been sanding. And this is the 320 area that needs sanding. That's what I was trying to get out. So we're going to swap now to the bulletproof block to do the flatter areas. I can get it out of my soup bucket. It's in there somewhere. Again, just hold the block nice and flat to the panel, diagonal motions, you'll see the green disappear well, until it gets all muddy. So we've done down here, we've done along here, it's all looking very nice, but we haven't done this lovely little road this way. So we're going to use the 600 again on the Dura block. Nice, make sure it's wet and just rock it over like that. Don't stay in one place, keep it moving. That should probably do it. Yeah. That's good guys, the swing is done. So we're going to do exactly the same on the rear quarter. And then this car is flatted, ready for paint. We've got a lot of masking to do. That's the next episode though.